Hey everyone, this is Carla. Welcome to part 10 of Adventures in Workforce Development. And this is the American Job Center website. I'm gonna give a brief overview over this website. And the reason why I'm doing it is called Career One Stop is because this was from the Depart U.S. Department of Labor. And so this is, as you can see, it's sponsored by the U.S. Department of Labor. And this is where, this is the federal level. So it's where you can get, you can find training that you can also find a local career center. It says find local help. You can also do unemployment benefits, but we're going to go in here. And we also have, since I'm a native Clevelander, I use downtown Cleveland. And this has Ohio Means Job, Cleveland, Cuyahoga County. And so it has the address, the phone number, and the, and the hours. You can also email the center. So let's just put in something different. I'm going to put in Washington, D.C. And click in the search here. And it says it's four centers the Northwest. Another one in Arlington, Virginia, D.C. and D.C. So, you know, regardless of where you live in the United States, you can find an American Job Center, and that's where you can get workforce training also and see what opportunities and see if you qualify. So I'm going to go back to Career, a one, um, career one Stop, and I'm going to go down to the top pages section right here. And I want to go into what's hot because one of the reasons why you're in workforce development is to develop your skill set so that you can land a full-time position. And also, you want to know what industries are hot per the U.S. Labor Department. And it has different categories, fastest growing careers. Let me check on that one. And it says we found 300 growing occupations. Oh, this is D.C., so we'll, we'll just go with it. So in D.C., the top ones are home health aid, personal care aids, information security analysts, software development applications, physicians assistants, nursery practitioners, athletic trainers, we got the Redskins and all the different things, mathematicians, nursing instructors, teaching post-secondary, and statisticians. And as an economist and statistician, I'm very proud that these two are up here because they often overlap. When you work as an economist, you do have to have the math background, you do have to have the statistics background. So these are the top 10. And I think that that's very important when you get fastest growing. And as I mentioned before, this has the largest growth, largest rate of growth from 2016 to 2026, which is the 10 year projection that I talk about also can go into Homestead where I'm currently in Ohio, so it goes by state, and then it changes a little bit. So you have the home health aid, personal care aid, statistician is number three, and then you have mathematician and info, a security analyst. But I wanted to show you the fastest growing careers and also familiarize yourself with this site because this is going to be your first source of getting more information also, I wanted to help you with the language so that you can have a better understanding when you walk in there, because even though it's a, you're going to walk into like your local one, they're going to call it an American Job Center. So don't be thrown off if what they call themselves is different. For instance, in the previous slide, I showed Cleveland and it, was, it said Ohio means jobs, Cleveland, Cuyahoga. That is an American Job Center, the Washington, D.C. one, Department of Employment Services. That's American Job Center. So I wanted to shoot this video so you can have a better understanding of what, at the federal level, how it breaks down the career one stop. You also have uh, other jobs that are available. Is this fine training? One of the top questions is, is there money for training? Yes, there is. They talk about post 9-11 GI Bill, Veterans Affairs. They have SNAP, Fast for Free Application for Federal Student Aid. They have scholarships, and they have tax benefits for education. 
They also have another thing, which is certification finders, which this is something I talked about um, when it comes to certification. So it has the list of occupations there, the list of industries. I'm certified, so I'll just put in PMP and we'll search with that. As you can see, it says project management professional and it also has codes here. That means in demand. That means accredited by ANSI. And that means related to military occupation and specialty. It also says it's an advanced certification. Uh, for a project management professional, you need at least five years. So it's not like you can just come out of high school or come out of college and get a PMP. It's very rare to do that. But I wanted to show you like certification since this is workforce development. You can look at the certifications, click on it and see what it says. And it gives a blurb. It also talks about the organization. And it talks about other things that you have to maintain. I discuss this in lots of videos, renewal every three years. And also exam details. So you would have to go to a testing center. So I just wanted to go back to that, do a new search to show you about certification finders. It also has the list of occupations. Let me just click on installation repairs, do something outside the box. And as you can see, it's a hold up. So we just do aircraft mechanics and service technicians. And this is a certification. So when you go to the career one stop, these are some of, like I said, a brief overview of what it is, what it does, and certain things from top questions when you're training. You also have certification top pages and you can do more if they also have at the bottom as social media feed for Facebook and Twitter you can learn more about it because they're on social media and wanted you to learn more about that and they have all different types of, of occupations and jobs such as bakers web developers environmental engineers MR technologists remember this is the federal government it has nearly every single job category listed. They call them occupational classifications. But this was a brief overview of the American Job Network Career One Stop Shop, which is uh, sponsored by the U.S. Department of Labor. This is the federal level. I showed you how you can get to your local level, and you can also do the state and find information on that projection. So this is this episode of Adventures and Workforce development part 10 american job center website overview remember it's careers one stop.org i put the link in the title as well as the description so you can check it out and so you can be better familiarized with this but once again my name is carla r jenkins i am a certified project management professional certified scrum master of idaho with 13 years problem solving experience in project management, big data, and IT service management, both the private and public sector. You can check out my LinkedIn at linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash Carla R. Jenkins. The universal social media handle is Carla R. Jenkins. I'd like to thank everyone for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next episode of Adventures in Workforce Development. Goodbye.